Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in my last video, I think I hinted to the fact that there was something new hanging out here. <laughs> new-ish, not even new. It's actually a 2004, so it's old, but it is new to us. And some of you that have been watching for a while may have seen what we call <laughs> your Slopa, which is this C4A6 that we did a radiator in and a bunch of other pretty much everything, shotgun everything at that car. Um, and that was for my 17 year old son to drive. Well, this is actually going to take the place of your Slopa. So this one has no name other than 04 A6S line, I guess. Introducing the 2004 Audi A6 2.7T S line. Obviously, for those of you in the US, this is the final year of the C5 A6. It is the 2.7 turbo, but in 04, these got a slight boost from the factory with 265 horsepower and 280 foot pounds of torque. And if you've been watching the channel, you've probably seen your Slopa or the C4, the 1996 C4 A6 Quattro that uh, my son has been driving his first car. Well, your Slopa is actually a pretty, you know, those, those are pretty bulletproof cars overall um, and very, very simple. But we're in the Minneapolis area and traffic is pretty crazy here. Um, and I, I don't mean by gridlock, I mean, it can be at times, but it's mostly like everyone else on the road has absolutely no brain whatsoever. And it's sort of a uh, every man or woman for themselves. So this car, gives him a little bit more power because power is safe in my eyes. It helps you avoid a lot of things, gets you out of trouble, has far better brakes than the C4 A6, and it has obviously improved safety over the C4. So better side impact, multiple airbags, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a much more modern, much safer car. It is an extremely nice car. It has 115,000 miles. It spent the winters in Florida. This was a snowbird car and it still has a little e-pass up in the windshield here. Picked it up in the rain yesterday from the Minneapolis Auto Auction and caliper wise they're not all rusty crusty like the Minnesota cars so I think the e-brake probably still works. <laughs> we'll test that later um, but you'll see more on this car soon because we are I think I'm going to end up doing a timing belt. We're going to do a little inspection and see if I can clarify exactly when it was done. Um, via Carfax records, etc., and a few dealer connections just to see if I can pinpoint that. But yeah, everything uh, it's got some decent Michelins on it. It'll, of course, need some snow tires. But uh, yeah, even the battery was done in April of 21, so it's not even that old. Runs and drives great. No weird clunks. You know, the suspensions can be problematic here, but we'll do a good look over this later. But And as we're looking at this, uh, basically I happened to be browsing a local Audi dealership site late in an evening and saw this car pop up on there briefly. And it was just a 2004 Audi A6 S line, 115,000 miles, no details. I didn't know the color. I didn't know anything. I, I just had the VIN. And so I ran the Carfax and saw that it was sold new in Connecticut, came to St. Cloud, Minnesota and then seemed to be in Orlando, Florida, like snowbird car. So it looked like it maybe spent winters down there. Had some service at Audi of North and South Orlando and shout out to the gentleman at Audi North Orlando, whose name I forget, who helped me fill a gap on some of the service records here. But this car, I, I didn't even know what color it was. And so I emailed the salesperson I knew at Audi Minneapolis and he's like, well, I don't know anything about it email our buyer or text our buyer who I also know and sure enough he's like well we we can't sell those we basically just run everything to the auction and so it was already sitting at the Minneapolis auto auction and I was like ah oh, dang I've actually specifically been looking for a 2004 A6S line and I wanted this as it was kind of the last hurrah for the C5 it also was the model that got the bump from 250 to 265 horsepower from the factory 
and so that was nice with 280 foot pounds of torque i figure if you're gonna go in you know dive into this uh you might as well go for the last of the breed i guess so this car was at the auction and furthermore he could not sell it to me it had to be sold to another dealer obviously because it's at a dealer auction and I said well that's not a problem i have some friends that can do that for me and so we ended up basically working out a, a deal ahead of time before it actually even went through the sale and we wound up buying this car so got a what i consider to be an extremely good deal on this car i don't know if you can tell but there's not even a rock chip on this thing it is far and away i mean it's got a little headlight fade that i've got to polish out but there's like not a mark on this a couple little chips in the winds windshield one tiny little mark here <laughs> Other than that, the doors, like, they don't even have door dings on this thing. There's, like, on the entire car, I think I counted two dings, three dings, one tiny scratch, one little mark, nothing major. But this is as close to a time capsule car as I've ever seen. I can't even believe this. And even the inside. This is before I've done any detailing at all. It is clean, all there. needs a little bit of cleanup but not bad it's basically the only issues i have are i've got the mirror delamination issue here got some soft touch failure on the climate control right there that's about it the rest of this is pretty much mint including the armrest and it has uh, 115 355 on it currently So, you'll see this in upcoming videos as well. We did, uh, I did a quick paint correction on this car. Yeah, here's my only door ding right there, if you can even see it, little one. Um, and replace those uh, paint production film down there. But the only other mark on this thing is right here where they looked like they opened the door into something. So. Aside from that, this car is pretty much perfect. It's just kind of ugly on these wheels, <laughs> but these were $50 Craigslist fine wheels. So perfect for a Minnesota winter. Although honestly, I hate to subject this car to winter. So I just spent some time today swapping over the wheels and tires, obviously, and did a lot of fluid filming uh, of things under the car. So if it does see winter use, at least it's gonna be somewhat protect from that. So I guess you're gonna see some 2.7 content here as well. So we're gonna cover all the bases. We're gonna have the, you know, inline fives, the bi-turbo six, another inline five. The S8 is actually still out there lurking. So we'll have the 4.2 V8 rejoining hopefully soon. Um, been so busy with work and other cars that I haven't spent any time on my S8, so. And honestly, all I need to do is throw the bumper on right now. So I'm working on that today as well. So that will be coming back to the channel very soon. And I, at least I hope <laughs> very soon. Um, still have to get it inspected in the state of Minnesota to get a rebuilt. But I'm hoping now, you know, I kind of gave up looking there for a while because it was like every day I'd log in and they were booked statewide and I could never get in. Um, I'm going to try again. Get the bumper on this thing so i know i can at least drive it see if i can get a permit to go there or a temp tag and then get it inspected hopefully and then i can just drive the thing so that'd be great but for now welcome silver 04 s line we'll see more of this uh soon well i don't know what we're gonna do in the winter here we'll probably turn our attention to some indoor things because i don't like being in the garage when it's you know it gets cold here in minneapolis so my garage is not heated, uh, as you can tell from the luxurious appearance <laughs> and all the junk here. Um, it's not a very big garage and I just don't have room for everything. So I have a bunch of cars sitting outside, which is not ideal. Um, 
yeah, need a new garage, need a bigger garage for sure. Uh, had ideas for that, but so far it hasn't really worked out. But anyhow, thank you for watching. We'll catch you again soon.